Drunk driving crash damages starts fire at Watson's vending. Babysitter facing homicide charge and infant death. Community comes together to search for missing teen. These stories and more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, October 22, 2018. A 27-year-old man was arrested after his car slammed into Watson's vending on Union Avenue early Sunday morning. Sheboygan police say it happened around 2.30 when the car was southbound on South 24th Street and failed to stop for the stop sign on Union and crashed into the offices at Watson's starting a fire. The driver got out of the car unharmed and firefighters arrived on the scene to put out the blaze. Union Avenue was closed for several hours as firefighters put out the fire. The driver was arrested for his second OWI and reckless and inattentive driving. Two people were airlifted from the scene of a rollover crash on Highway 23 near Sheboygan Falls Friday night. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says they got a 911 call about the crash around 6.15. The caller reporting the vehicle had been westbound and swerved before going into the ditch. The car rolled several times and hit a deer fence. A 24-year-old male passenger from a Dell area was ejected and a 23-year-old female from Kewaskum was trapped. They were both flighted to Freydert Hospital in Milwaukee, and the crash remains under investigation. A man has died following a boating accident in the town of Marquette. According to the Green Lake County Sheriff's Office Facebook page, on Saturday afternoon, the Green Lake County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call concerning a missing duck hunter on the Fox River. The Deputy Sheriff Princeton Water Rescue, DNR Warden, and Emergency Services responded to the scene and searched for the man near the incident. The location of the accident was at the mouth of Lake Puckaway. Princeton Fire and Water Rescue located the man in the water around 2.30 where he was brought to shore and determined to be deceased. An investigation has revealed that two duck hunters and a dog capsized. Both men and the dog remained in the water and became separated. Eventually, one adult male and the dog made it back to shore and called 911. The deceased is a 52-year-old Princeton man whose name has not yet been released, and the surviving male, 47 years old from Berlin, did not require any medical attention. A two-month-old baby is dead and the child's babysitter is facing homicide charges in the case. Wausau PD were called to North 3rd Avenue Thursday evening on reports of an unresponsive baby boy. The baby's mother had just picked up the child from the babysitter's home on North 6th Street and was stopping at a laundromat nearby. The child was unresponsive, and it is believed he died while the, in the care of the babysitter. The babysitter is identified as 28-year-old Marissa Tietzort. Police say she had a warrant for a previous incident of child abuse, and she will be in court on Monday to answer those charges. Police say an autopsy was performed on Friday, and the infant's death is considered a homicide. The case is being referred to the district attorney's office for additional charges. The child's name has not been released. The, free, or the Little Free Library nonprofit is asking people to remember their founder, Todd Bull. Bull died Thursday from cancer and he was 62 years old. Bull originated the idea of the Little Free Library in 2009 with a dollhouse size case in the shape of a one-room schoolhouse made from a recycled garage. 
He filled it with books and set it up at the end of his driveway where he noticed it was more popular than the garage sale items that attracted people to his house. There are now more than 75,000 little free libraries in, located in nearly 90 countries. State school superintendent Tony Evers is facing accusations of plagiarism in recent budget requests. Republicans released records Sunday that documented three more instances in which Evers submitted budget requests with passages of texts taken nearly word for word from other sources without giving proper credit. Governor Walker tweeted several times attacking Evers for the plagiarized passages, and the governor says there is no way as a teacher that Evers would accept that kind of work from a student. Evers said at a campaign stop in Milwaukee yesterday that his staff had made a mistake by failing to provide the proper citations. Evers told reporters over the weekend that only parts of his budget in doubt are a few citations at the end of the proposal. Evers said they have talked to the people who wrote the plan and says that he wants to move on. And finally, new details are out surrounding the disappearance of 13-year-old Jamie Kloss who went missing after her parents were found murdered inside their home last Monday. Officials are revealing the 911 call placed from the Kloss household the day of the murders came from the phone belonging to mom, Denise Kloss. Dispatchers say they were not able to speak to anyone directly, but could hear a disturbance going on in the background. After the call was disconnected, they attempted to call back several times, but the call went unanswered. Deputies responded less than four minutes after the call came in and found the door had been kicked in and both Denise and her husband James had been shot. Law enforcement did not locate a gun and could not find any people or vehicles around the home. Jamie was believed to have been in the home at the time of the murders, but has since vanished and police fear she is in grave danger. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next time for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.